Now, the Indian Space uh, Agency, ISRO, successfully launched its next generation of navigation satellites aboard the GSLV rocket on Monday. With this, ISRO has demonstrated the ability to evolve as it learns from the rocket's previous launch failures in August 2021. The NVS-01 one could pave way for India's own GPS system in the near future. Our correspondent, Siddharth MP, caught up with ISRO chairman S. Somanath. Take a listen. Joining us on Beyond World is one, Dr. S. Somnath, Chairman Isro. Sir, congrats on the successful launch of GSLV F-12. Kindly tell us what kind of modifications were made to the rocket to ensure a flawless success this time. See, we do always do, this is a continuous process of improvement of any system in our, in our engineering work. Whatever we understand, we do now. But if you find a problem, we will go on correcting it. This time we understood that there is an element of failure in a valve which is, which is uh, there. But this valve leak is, is checked, its integrity is not checked at liftoff. It is checked some slightly ahead. So we found that if this, because of this problem, it leaked. If we could have had a mechanism to know about that integrity of that valve at liftoff, then we wouldn't have launched. But unfortunately, the system is not present. So even now it is not there. So what we did is it can, it, it, can, it has to be kept open till liftoff, but it can close only at that moment. So we found a method by which even if it leaks, it should not cause a problem. That is a that's a correction we did, and different ways of attacking the problem. One is uh, it is blocked that it should not be leaking. The gas required to be filled has an another path to fill it. So such engineering aspects we did so that it takes care of that failure. So tell us about NVS-01 and how it gives a significant boost to India's navigation and indigenous capabilities in position and timing. Say for a nation like us, such a huge nation, such a large number of people using uh, more digitally oriented you know, community, it is important to provide PNT services, positioning, navigation, timing services. And there is a business community which requires timing services and positioning services, fleet management, business, com business uh, activities of even food delivery and uh, so, much, so on and so forth. So we need to have an in independent system and it's equally important to have a strategic importance in this because uh, all our uh, bo borders are protected by equipments and machinery and people where they also require to have the PNT services which is secured that nobody in the world can stop us from doing what we want to do. So that means that we need to have a stronger navigation, regional navigation, possibly global at a later point in time, but today it is required to be regional so that it is working and we have a technique by which it can be made global when we want it. So what kind of accuracy can we expect from this positioning service? And Currently we have done a testing long back when all seven satellites were there. We are tested under different conditions and Nilesh is here, our director SAC is here. And he can vouch for me that uh, the accuracy we measured over a period of time by observing is less than 2.8 meters. That means we are declared at up to 3 meters we have the accuracy on test conditions. But when in a situations where signals are not always available from 7 and there are some degradation, it can go up a little wider. But I can guarantee that being a geostationary system, satellites is not moving here. Whereas in a no normal GPS, all satellites are moving at tremendous velocity. So the accuracy of positioning services is also a function of the accuracy by which the orbit is determined and timing is done. So it is far superior for this architecture. So how long before civilian mobiles and apps can use this service? Maybe it has to have minimum of four satellites with L1. Then it can be used. Thank you. Thank you. That was Chairman Isro Dr. Somnath speaking to Beyond World is One exclusively. With video journalist Argar Siddharth MP, Beyond World is One.